My name is Josh, I'm a 10 times world champion competitive eater and I'm going to show you how to complete the 10,000 calorie challenge. Not the chick I call it Lola She feel like the ocean Like to drink and smoke some Doja And I feel like smoking Plus she good at charming Cobras I feel like I'm chosen But she ain't the only one No Got the chick I call it Katia She be acting bougie Then she came through and tied me up Now she just a groupie Got the All joking aside I'm not a competitive eater I'm a very normal dude Who did the 10,000 calorie challenge Three times So I got a lot of experience with it First time we we filmed it so crap so we didn't upload it to our channel. If you guys want to see any of our challenges, those will be the links in the description down below. So we did the 10,000 calorie challenge a long time ago, completed it. Did the 10,000 calorie challenge again, we both completed it. Did the 10,000 calorie challenge the third time, Kyle Hurdle, but he's got some tips on that. And we've also done the 15,000 calorie challenge. So uh, first let's talk about what the 10,000 calorie is and their rules. It kind of sucks with the rules, but let's talk about the rules. Okay, the rules, no liquid calories. So here's where we, our line is. We say no pops, no sugary drinks. We find ice cream and milkshakes to be okay. That's just us. Some people got mad about that. I don't see why that isn't okay. It's the same as ice cream in my opinion. So that's that. Yes, welcome to Booster Juice in Chuang Bay. Ah, the holiday season, it. we have a chair for you. I'm ready for my delicious smoothie. Uh, yeah. Second off is to finish it in one day. Now here's the caveat. If you're a pro and you don't want to be a little wimp or a little poser, I hate when people will go to bed, they'll wake up at like 12.01 that day, they'll eat a bunch of food, go back to bed, wake up, eat in the morning, push it all the way to 12 at night, nah, nah. Treat it like a normal day, man up, get her done. It's better for filming. Third of all, you gotta make sure it's legit. There's gotta be legitimacy with this. Make sure you film yourself eating every meal. Speed it up, make sure it's all shown. Don't let it be fake. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people fake it and that sucks because you're missing out. It's fun to say you've done 10 or 15 and you've lived to tell the tale. So uh, make sure you guys are following those three guidelines. Now we're gonna give you some tips on how you can crush this and smash it. Crush and smash. So this may sound a little bit weird, but guys, don't eat your absolute favorite foods. Eat foods that you enjoy, but not at places that are your favorite, because chances are you're gonna be left feeling very unsettled, very unsatisfied. And for me, like the place that I hurled at, the place that I wanted to hurl at, I refused to go back to because it just left me with a very bad experience. So eat foods you enjoy, but not your very, very, very favorite thing. So if you guys wanna get your first one done, you're gonna to need to choose extremely high calorie, macro dense foods. Even if you like salads or you like chicken or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to stay away from that. You want the sausages, you want the Dairy Queen Blizzard that's 1,500 calories. That's not gonna leave you feeling full, but it's gonna to contribute to a lot of the calories throughout the day. Number three, guys, have a game plan. Every time we've done this, we've thought well in advance. We started to pre-log things. We started to figure out, okay, I'm gonna eat this at this time, this at this time, and this at this time. Because if you just go in at, like with no game plan and you just walk into places, you'll think you've pinned 4,000 calories and you'd be like, this was only 1,000 calories. Don't make that mistake. Think ahead. Look at menus. Look at the most calorie dense things. Look at things you like. Don't get things that are going to make you feel sick or nasty or, you know, you got to really think smart here. Stay away from vegetables. This is so funny because I've spent this professionals online coaches. This is everything against we advocate. But I think it's really cool to know what 10,000 calories feels like. And I think when you do something like that, you really realize that eating that much is not fun, it's not necessarily healthy. And I find, I found that after that, I was able to maintain my diet for so long without any variation from it because I realized how crap you feel going over. Saying so, I think it's so fun to embrace and do once, on to the next tip. Next tip, guys, do it with friends. Um, it's so much better when you're doing it with buddies. You can push each other, like, come on, get it, get it down. Or you got that team power brainstorming what to get. It makes the journey better. You're not by yourself. You don't feel like you're gonna die as much. You guys see, we always do it in large groups. 15,000 was the exception, where we only did it. Us two, but the other two, we like having a lot of people, make it a fun day. Uh, another quick tip, I guess we're gonna go way over five. Whatever, who cares, right? There are no rules. Next tip is, um, don't try to compensate for the day. My experience after the day, the next day try to eat very close to nothing aside from vegetables and protein powder. But past that, don't spend a year trying to make up for that one day, it'll suck. It'll be about three pounds. Embrace it, move on, get on with your life. It's fun to do, like I said, 
Uh, yeah, next tip. Next up, what would this be, like number five? No, we're way deep, whatever. Yeah. Number, number. Next tip is walk it off. So what I mean by this, if, you, if you're at a point where you're about to hurl, like your body can only intake so much at one time, and this has happened to me numerous times. If you're about to hurl, just stop. Those extra one to 200 calories aren't worth potentially hurling. You're just gonna wanna stop there, you're gonna wanna walk it off. This is at least what works best for me, and then go back to it as soon as you feel like you can. I'm not doing these fries or else I'll hurl. Um, at the very end, you guys will see, I'll put a clip right here. It was a 10,000 calorie Canadian challenge. It was at the very end, like it was at the end of the day, so I had to kind of like stuff it in and I, uh, and I couldn't finish that off. But the 15,000 calorie challenge, I stopped with the fries, I found something that I thought would be better, kind of less in volume, and I was able to complete that. So walk it off and I think you guys will be able to complete it. Last tip guys, space it out. So don't go in guns a blazing and 6,000 calories at the start. I made this mistake and then I tried to go to the gym and I felt really sick. That was a horrible experience. Um, the best thing you can do is kind of, I like to look at it in blocks of 2,000 calories. It's the easiest way, 5,000 calorie blocks. If you can do that, you're kicking. So, saying so, in between those blocks, make sure you're active, make sure you're walking around, you're doing things, you're going to the gym. If you're sitting all day and eating 10,000 calories, your body's gonna friggin' combust. Make it get to work, do some hit, get that metabolism up, get everything pumping. Try to drink a lot of Diet Coke, as contrary as it sounds, the acidity in it will help a little bit to kind of break down the food. Those are some extra small little tips. Uh, this isn't normally the kind of video we'll make, but we had a blog post and it blew up. So many people were viewing it. So we figured make the video, you guys could watch us eat some more food. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. We can get 5,000 likes on this video. I know that's pretty much ridiculous, but who knows? If it can happen, we'll do the 20,000 Oh challenge. man. So, uh, our fate is in your hands. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We love you all. Peace. Happy eating. All right.